but look at this. Whoa, half of the hill has fallen into the road. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning, Bumblebee. I hope you had a good night and a good sleep. And I hope that you are ready for the day. <laughs> good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 191 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are here in a cute little camp just on the outskirts of the city of Petropolis in Brazil. And it's a beautiful sunny day today. It's a good day for a nice ride. We were the only ones staying here last night in the end. So it was very nice and peaceful and it was just a giant garden all to ourselves. <laughs> but let me show you guys where we're gonna ride today. So we are here just on the outskirts of Petropolis and we are going to be continuing our way along the mountains above Rio before joining back onto the coast to finish the day here in Paraty. Yes, we are finally passing Rio de Janeiro, the place where Bumblebee started her journey here in Brazil. And we're finally going to be making our way south, which is our direction. Yes! So we have a bit of mountains today, followed by a bit of coastline, finishing the day in the beautiful small town of Parachi, where we've booked an accommodation for the next couple of days to catch up with some editing. It's a beautiful day today and it's only 7.45. We have about four and a half hours ride today, so better hit the road, let's go. If you could give me a little pull backwards. Ready, go. Mm. Yeah, let's fire her up. Woo! There we go. Goodbye, camp for the day. Very quaint. Oh, and goodbye to Lavi. Bye, Lavi. See you never. Okay, ready. Yeah, with your gloves on, everything's good. No. <laughs> Sunglasses on, gloves on. In position. <laughs> <laughs> We're going, let's rock and roll. Whee! I love this VW buses. They are just everywhere here in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, look at this one with all the windows. Ah, I love them so much, hey! And they have been used as normal uh, working cars. We've seen a load of them so far. They're really, really cool. We're just leaving the suburbs of Petropolis. And uh, actually, I tried to route over to Parachi using the Garmin. And the Garmin was taking us some crazy way that was like 500 miles. So I think the Garmin might be missing some roads i don't know so anyway we switched over to using the phone for navigation and we've got our peak designs phone mount and we've taken off the garmin now and uh, we're just going to route now for the day using google maps good old google maps as a backup oh i think we'll grab some fuel okay. before we hit the road bon dia, bon dia. Bon dia. Uh, just a uh, normal gasolina. Okay, obrigado. Let's get some juice into Bumblebee. How much was that? 11 pounds. Obrigado. Okie dokie, atishoki, okie dokie. Whoa. We just got over the hill from Petropolis. This road is like winding down the mountain through like another reserve. I mean, it's a pretty busy road, 
but the place that it's going through is absolutely beautiful. We had already epic views from up there. You could really see the mountain range. It's incredible and very green. A lot of trees. <laughs> a lot of trees. We saw a sign that they have some uh, sloughs here. <laughs> Oh, well, that would it. be amazing to see one, but I'm pretty sure they won't be hanging out by the highway, unfortunately. <laughs> You've got an epic view on this side, look at that. Very cool. We hit the Brazilian highway! <laughs> <laughs> With mountain views! <laughs> So it is quite a big road, but it's actually not that bad at the moment. We've got blue skies, we've got nice views, so we can just enjoy a little bit of stretch of highway and just relax. By the way, I don't know if you guys know about our interactive map that we spent quite a lot of time setting up. You can find it in the link in the video description and if you go through to there we have a custom Google map where we're uploading every single day of the ride so you can see exactly where we've ridden through every country as we make our way around the world. Yes, and if you're fancy, one of the landscapes you have seen here in one of our videos then you know exactly where you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh yeah, oh, but look at this. nice, look at that. A little bit of a wet wetland here. Wetland. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep an eye out for capybara. <laughs> yeah, Oslofs. <laughs> I love capybara. <laughs> Motos y cento. Okay, there's a toll booth here, but I don't know what motos y cento means. So we'll have to find out. Because <laughs> they had all the prices for the other vehicles. Maybe it's free for motorcycles. Ooh. Bom dia! Um, English? Ah! Yeah? Oh, just around. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Oh, just go around. <laughs> Did she say just go around? I think so. Can I, is that going to work? Yes, just about, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So just go through? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really confusing. How cool is that? So we have just a quick stop here, just stretch our legs a little bit because it's been now over an hour on the bike and we have still three hours and 11 minutes to go. Gotta keep up with taking rests. Yes. Otherwise you get a sore bum. <laughs> Let's stretch our legs. So we just looked it up and Isento means Free! Whee! Whee! <laughs> it seems so easy when you know. Mountain views and on the right mountain views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this stretch of coast is pretty nice. It is busy still, but it's quite nice with the forested mountains and the ocean. Yeah, super cool, super cool location here. More ocean, more ocean, more ocean. <laughs> yeah, we should hit in a little bit. A even closer ocean road. Yeah, and we can hope that it gets a little bit quieter as well. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're still in between Rio and Sao Paulo. So obviously this area is still pretty populated part of Brazil. Oh, hello, Doggy. Yeah, look at this in front. It's like the mountains just actually go straight into the ocean. Epic. <laughs> Got some big old jungle trees next to us now. Look at the size of this canopy. 
I can hear the monkeys screaming. <laughs> go away cars, go away bikes. So we've got just under two hours riding left to do today to reach Parachi. So we are on the lookout for a nice place to stop for a break. But you know, this highway doesn't seem to have a lot of like little rest areas or anything. We've seen like no like proper rest areas. So we'll uh, see what we can find up ahead. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Half of the, uh, half of the hill has fallen into the road. Crazy. Oh my God. And there wasn't really much warning. Just suddenly it was like a little barrier that was like, hold on a minute. Whoa, it's a big puddle in front, but it's a pretty good view for a nice place to stop. But what is this in front? Oh my God. Okay, it's just, it's just a little bit of a uh, puddle. And then a little an extra puddle, ah, then we're there. <laughs> oh, finally found a lay-by. Oh, man, we got to stretch our legs. than that <laughs> to park up here next to an epic area where you can enjoy a coffee Brazil you need more of those you need more of those nice rest stops <laughs> yeah. look at this you've got all these small islands off of the coast and this behind us that is Ilha Grande and that island looks like something out of Jurassic Park and Ilha Grande actually means big island so yeah pretty nice views down here on the Brazilian coast I just want to stay here and pitch up the tent on this piece of grass <laughs> this area looks so lush here it's incredible you wouldn't really think that the ocean is just a few meters to the left here it feels like that we are in the middle of the rainforest this is like an area where there's a concentration of rivers all heading out to the coast so you've got these little bridges like this one and each bridge has like a little river and so this area is just like thick forest and cloudy mountains behind yes <laughs> And you know what I've just realized? We have actually passed 7,000 miles. 7,000 miles! So we are just 35 minutes, 22 miles away from our accommodation. And this bit here is really cool because this bit here is actually a national park and it's really green. Yeah, the national park is called Parque Nacional da Serra da Bociana or something like that. I'm probably pronouncing it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty much the national park on the right and the national park spilling out into the ocean on our left. But of course, there's a lot of trees. So it's really hard to get that on camera, but <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, you can see in the back the misty mountains, the clouds coming over. And that makes me really think of like the deep jungle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and in these jungles around here, there's supposed to be like sloths, pumas, and anteaters, monkeys. So there's a whole lot of beautiful wildlife going on just inside there.
here we are finally coming in to Parachi and we have a big sign yes Parachi looks a little bit like party <laughs> <laughs> our first port of call here in town is to stop at a supermarket where we're gonna get a, a few supplies for the next couple of days get some vegetables <laughs> vegetables yes some legumes <laughs> some legumes <laughs> <laughs> super carlao do you think we have to go into the estacionamento or do you think we can just be I like here in front i think we can just front? park yeah, yeah just park here yeah yeah okay Whoa. <laughs> there she is look at this oh my god i just got our lunch Ta -da! <laughs> that is a lunch <laughs> That's a feast. I got so many things, seriously. Like, I, I wanted to buy everything. But I got um, these nice vegetables. Oh, look at those. I think it's like okra. Yeah. I, but here it's called kiabo. <laughs> and of course, some eggs. Almond milk. Zucchini. Uh, some... Carrot. <laughs> Aubergine? Yeah, veg feast. Yes. I know it's one and a half kilo, but it it was like 80 cents. So wow. I couldn't I couldn't resist to get it. Onion. And a whole lot of potatoes because I will make a tortilla yes. tomorrow. And then of course, because we're in Brazil, we have to eat mangoes. <laughs> oh mangoes are beautiful. Yes. All stopped up and now our accommodation is only a couple of minutes away from the center of Parachi. Yeah, we found this accommodation on booking.com and it's about 12 pounds uh, the night. Pretty good price and guess what it has? <laughs> a swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> because yes. these days are hot. Yeah, I mean guys, you won't believe it. It's at the moment 33 degrees. Our bike just recorded 33 degrees yeah it's hot that's why we're heading south <laughs> yes as romantic as it looks it doesn't feel very nice if you ride along in like 30 35 degrees heat with your full gear on and that's why the locals don't wear full gear <laughs> yes, that's exactly. why they wear shorts and t-shirt comfortable until you have an accident yes and our place should be one of these doors. <laughs> I mean, it's this one. Hold on. 76. Aha! Yes! yes. Fusara e Hostel Fantasia. Woo. That's the place. All right, let's knock on the door. We made it! Happy and alive! Yes, we made it here to Parachi to our accommodation for the next couple of days of relaxing and editing after quite a few days on the road. Bumblebee is parked up nicely, all our gear is in the room and there is a swimming pool, but... I don't know if you can really see, but uh, it's quite green and doesn't really look very inviting. I might do though. <laughs> <laughs> you might still go? Yes, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> that would be brave. <laughs> it was a very busy road and a quite exhausting ride, but we had a few very, very epic views along the way. Like the coastline is just so incredible, beautiful. <laughs> Somebody's powering up there. <laughs> That's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comments below. We will see you next time. This actually looks quite nice from the supermarket. And look, there's tomatoes, there's olives. It's not too bad. It looks very tasty. Bon appetit. Okay, what do I say? <coughs> Hello. Yep. Yeah.